Hi there, it's Douglas from the Don's Photo Main Street in Winnipeg. Today we'll be showing you how to order one of a few different photo books that we offer. So we'll start by going to donsphoto.com. We'll go down to Photo Lab on the site and we'll go down to Photo Books on the drop down menu. This will open up a new tab taking you to the Print Refinery Don's Photo ordering site. And here we click on Photo Books. If you missed that and just clicked on all products, it's at the top here. You've got the choice between five different books that we have available. There are descriptions for each of them below, but today what we'll do is we will choose the coffee table book. So all of our photo books are marked ready in about five to ten business days. The Broadway is the only one done in five, so please allow yourself a bit of time if you're ordering these to get them done in due order. So when we click on the coffee table book, or the coffee table photo book, you have the choice between a 10x10, a 12x12, or an 8x8 book. We'll go with the medium size today, the 10x10, but anything past this point will be the same whether you choose 12x12, 8x8. So there's a number of different styles available for the photo books, depending on what kind of templates or what kind of background that you want on your photo book. I'm going to keep it simple, we'll go with just a plain black book. So a photo book can be a fairly long project and it's not a bad idea to name the project. This is best done if you've signed in or if you haven't signed in and you need to, you can join and then you can save your projects to come back later. But we won't be doing the full photo book today, we'll show you how to get going and it's a lot of the same process as we go on. So there's a number of different templates as to how many photos you can have per page. Today you can either choose one, two, three, or four per page, or we can mix it up and it'll give us an assortment of all four options. So we'll leave it at that. Typically the photo books start with 20 pages, though you can automatically choose 48 or 76. Different photo books will have different page amounts, and you can add an even amount of pages. So. 22, 24, 26, if you find that 20 is not enough and 48 is too many. We'll start with 20 today. So we'll go ahead and upload some photos. I'm going to choose a couple different photos from a couple different albums. In a case where you've already got photos in here that you may want to use in your project but you want to upload more, you can hit upload photos and it'll take you back to the same upload screen. You can do this as much as you need to to get all the photos that you wanted. Photo books are a great option. We've seen people use photo books for all sorts of things such as family history or timelines, a bit of genealogy, special events, weddings are very popular. We've even had some students use them for their final projects just to give them a bit more of an oomph to their final grades. Once your photos are uploaded, we'll always ask you if you want to autofill so that it can load the photos in for you. And because I might have specific places where I would like to place the photos, I'm going to say no. So we have all the images that we've uploaded now on the left hand side. And we've got all of our pages for our 20 page book laid out here. Now we said mix it up, so some photos have, or some pages have six photos. Some have nine, others have one with some room for text, others have room for a photo with text top and bottom, and you can really switch it up for whichever one you'd like. Let's take page one for example. We'll double click it to start, and let's say I'm not happy with this template or this layout. At the top at the left here, we can click on layouts. There's a whole assortment of layouts on the left that we can click on that will change the layout of the page. So if you want something a little more, we'll say fun, you could have one with five photos. If you wanted to type something in to recount what happened, maybe you're doing a, a year in review, you can have one with text. We'll actually go with this one real quick. So we'll come to the photos, and now, same as before, anytime that you got the camera, we can click, drag, and drop a photo in fill up the spaces. I've got all four spot, spots filled in. We can click on the area with a pencil and we can go ahead and we can type something in. This one will title Day at the Zoo. 
Now it's very small, so we can highlight that. We can change the font size and make it a little easier to read. You've got all your options for your font and your text at the bottom. You can choose different fonts depending on what you want to go with. We can select the image and make it bold or italic. And we can even change the color of it depending on what you want to do with it. Now the big thing is to be careful of the dotted line where some stuff might crop. Wherever we have an image, you can click on it and you can move it around. So say there's some cropping in your photo, you can realign it. But if you click on this outer yellow edge, you can then move it through the template. Now this allows for a lot more customizability if you wanted to stretch your image so that it fills up a space a little differently. Or say for this one, for example, we wanted the red panda to have a larger space on the page. We can stretch it out to fill more area. Once you're happy with that, we'll add some text down here real quick. We'll just change that to make it a little larger. You can then click the arrow on the right hand side to go to the next page. And it's a lot of rinse and repeat. It's the same thing. You can change your layout drop in your photos and then once you're happy with what you've got you can move to the next page like I said this can be a very tedious project a very long project depending on how detail oriented and how many photos you wanted to load in and what kind of information you may want to type in we'll come back real quick to the thumbnails now say you had all your pages filled out and you're saying, oh, I've got a few more that I wanted to add to the end. At the top here, we can add a page. It asks how many pages you'd like to add in. We'll say six more. And you can either add them in the middle after your current page that you're on. So say you're on page seven, they would add in after that. Or you can add them after the last page. We'll choose that just so that they show up at the end there and it'll count out to 28, 26. So we now have 26 pages with randomized layouts in there that you can add more photos to. Now this one's a little different and then at the top, when you're completed your everything and it's ready to go, continue to second step. You're thinking, oh, I've already loaded in all the images. What else could there be? Well, we're choosing, it's a 10 by 10 book. You can choose your paper type. St Sterling is the standard one for this book, so we'll leave it as such. We just want one book. The second step is going to be the front and back cover. Whether you want it black wrapped, you can design your own, a multi-photo or a single photo that wraps around. So I think I'll choose the multi-photo. And again, very similar to layout to what we've seen before where we can drag and drop a photo and it shows us this is going to be the back. The dark gray edge is what's going to wrap into the book so that it holds. So this is what will be on the back cover. And then on the front cover, nice family photo here. And again, we have pencils here so we can type something in there, highlight that and change the size of the font. and move it around so that maybe it's in a less obtrusive place, maybe not on their faces. There is space at the back, so you could write something there if you wanted, or something more on the front, maybe family name, year in review, or whatever it may be. But if you do not put anything into here, it'll just be blank. That won't show up as a gray space on your image. It'll just be not there. Once you're happy with your covers, we can click Add to Cart. Here it'll show us what our first page is, that we are on the sterling paper, and that we're ordering a 10 by 10 coffee table book. We'll check out. We're not doing any upgrades today, though you can if you'd like. When we get to special instructions, none are needed. And it's a matter of following the prompts through to the end, where you'd like to pick it up, or if you'd like it shipped out, as well as your name, address, method of contact at the very least, so we can let you know when it's done. Now this was just the coffee table book. I know I had mentioned we have five other photo books that we offer in a number of different sizes. The process for that is all going to be the same. Select your book, select your size and number of pages. Choose your layouts per page or 
a standard layout for each page, drag and drop your photos in, and then select your cover. The size of the photo books makes them seem like a scary project, but once you get into the routine of it, it's actually a fairly easy one to get moving with. I hope this helps you out with your photo projects. If you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to reach out to your local Don's Photo. Any of the staff there would be happy to help you out.